next. Tragedy strikes. Accidents happen. Be there when the calls come in. It's back-to-back -back episodes of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Today on Rescue 911, a tragic accident. I just pushed off the chair and started to roll her around. Leaves a child severely burned. I couldn't believe what I saw. But were her sisters heroics enough to save her? When the people we love most are threatened, we can only hope that those around them are prepared to come to their rescue. Just after Christmas in 1991, Kelly Unger went upstairs to take a shower, leaving five-year-old Megan watching television downstairs with her nine-year-old sister, Janet. Look at this face. This is belly button. <laughs> I'm hungry. We were um, just watching cartoons, and I decided to make some oatmeal. So I turned on the gas on the stove. I heard her screaming again. I'm all, oh my gosh, Megan, what's happened? So I ran over there and I just pushed her off the chair and started to roll her around. She thought I was trying to hurt her, but I just knew by then that I should stop, drop the roll. When we continue. When you hear a scream like that, you know that there's something wrong. It was like everything was going in slow motion. I couldn't get down there fast enough. Friday. Gunshot victims, sick children, people suffering strokes. The dedicated staff in Portland, Oregon works tirelessly every day to save lives. Trauma. Life in the ER. Friday on Discovery Health Channel. When you hear a scream like that, you know there's no talking about it. You know that there's something wrong. It was like everything was going in slow motion. I couldn't get down there fast enough. When I came in the kitchen, my stomach was sick. I couldn't believe what I saw. She was burnt, and she, she had skin slipping off, and it was just a real ugly sight. I used to be an EMT, so I knew I had to get her upstairs and get her in the bathtub. Um, but when I grabbed her, I grabbed her under underwear. And that probably was the most scariest part, because I could feel it was like it was charcoal to her body. And that's when I knew we were in real trouble. I tried to turn it on so it wasn't too cold uh, to put her into shock, but it had to be cool enough to cool the burn down, too. And I told Janet to stay with her. and. Um, I ran down the stairs and called 911. Among those responding to Kelly's 911 call was Hemet Valley paramedic Joe Seibert. When you roll on a call like this, you you definitely try to block out any emotions that you possibly could have, but it's it's difficult because uh, a child is involved. Okay. Megan said, "I'm going to die. I'm going to die and I'm all, no you aren't." But I was really scared. <laughs> I put the sheet in the water and got it soaked really good, and then I grabbed Megan and I wrapped her in it.
and I just held her and talked to her because that was the most important thing at that time. She was scared to death, she was crying, and she was hurt. Paramedics got to the scene within nine minutes. You could smell quite a bit of burning hair and skin uh, as we walked up the walkway. At that point, we realized that there was a serious burn. We knew immediately that she was going to need to go to the regional burn center, so we then decided to uh, call a helicopter to get her out there as soon as possible. A ground transport would have been way too long and painful for her. They put a sterile mask on her, and um, that bothered her because she, she felt like she was getting covered up and she couldn't see. Okay. I'm right here. I was worried about her not having enough skin or blood. And I was worried that she may have died. I promised her I'd stay with her. And I told her that she needed to be brave. And she needed to be, you know, just tough. And she needed to, to get through this and be strong. Tonight, club feet. A cleft palate, eye operations. Three sets of parents choose surgery to give their children a chance for normal lives. Don't miss Stories from the OR, tonight on Discovery Health Channel. They had a partition between where they took care of the patient and where we sat. And I could hear the whole flight screaming. I knew they were trying to get an IV started. That was tough. That was really hard. Because I couldn't, I couldn't go back and talk to her. I couldn't comfort her or explain to her what they were trying to do. <laughs> Megan was brought by Life Flight to the San Bernardino County Medical Center, where she was treated by Dr. Randy Ficus. She was in a great deal of pain. She had very extensive burns. The first 12 to 24 hours is a very critical period of time because a late changes can develop that can be fatal. Yeah, Megan's father, Bill Unger, arrived while she was still in the emergency room. Her face was puffed up. She had those little blue eyes, and she looked at me, and that's when everything really clicked with me, and I just, I started losing it there. I never knew how serious burns were until this happened. I never took it as a life-threatening thing. They took her upstairs to the burn unit. It was hard to see the elevator doors close. Because you want to be with her. You want to stay with her. And we couldn't stay with her. After five and a half weeks in the hospital, five-year-old Megan Unger was released. Though her recovery has been remarkable, she still must undergo months of painful physical therapy and years of skin grafts. Megan turned out to be a, quite an exceptional young lady. Uh, the last two or three weeks she was there, she helping all the nurses with uh, distributing the food, and it just really turned out to be a bright spot in the unit. Over your head. Now. I can't praise the nurses enough at San Bernardino County. They just gave her so much. They really did. They gave her a lot of courage and a lot of love and a lot of strength. I don't know how she would have made it without the nurses that she had. Yes, you can. Even though she's scarred on the outside, I don't believe she's going to be scarred on the inside. And really, that's where the beauty is. I mean, you look at her, there's nothing wrong with her. She's still the same old Megan, <laughs> just as sweet as can be. I'm grateful for Janet. If Janet hadn't been there, Megan may not be with us today. I just knew that I got to save my sister, and it's all right if I catch on fire, too, because I know that I should stop, drop a roll. But Megan didn't know she was helpless, because she, she was just starting kindergarten that time. My sister saved my life. She put, stopped, drop a roll. I thank her. I thank her for doing that.
Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real-life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car, please.